Okay, so a couple of ways you can do this. You can use the y-intercept, which is minus 6, and plot that on the y-axis, and then use the gradient. For every one we go to the right, we go two up. Or you can select three points, and we're going to select three points. So we've got y equals 2x minus 6. So y equals 2x minus 6. And I've uh, picked the points minus 2, 0, and 2. So we're going to find out, first of all, what y is when x is minus 2. So y equals 2 times minus 2 take away 6. Positive times a negative is a negative. 2 times 2 is 4. And so we've got minus 4 minus 6. That's going to be on the number line. You go to minus 4, you go left 6, and you get minus 10. OK, we're going to do the same for 0. So y equals 2 times 0 take away 6. Anything times 0 is 0. And 0 take away 6 is minus 6. And then finally we've got when x is 2 this one here. So y equals 2 times 2 minus 6. 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 take away 6. Go to 4 in the number line, go left 6, you get minus 2. Okay, and then we've got to plot these. So minus 2, uh, uh, when x is minus 2, y is minus 10, so that's halfway between minus 8 and minus 12. Uh, 0 is minus 6, so minus 6 would be halfway between minus 4 and minus 8. And when x is 2, y is minus 2, which would be here. Finally, we've got to join them up with a straight line. So I'm going to try and get this as close as I can. And make sure that the line goes for the full duration of the graph. Otherwise, you will lose a mark. So I'm just going to plot the, uh, I'm just going to label the graph. So it's 2x minus 6. Let's just check that is correct. Yeah, it is.